everyone, it's Cheryl. Um, it's been a long time since I've done a video for here, and I'm not doing a crafting video today, although I will let you take a look at my latest project in the making. Um, today, I want to talk about something that has become extremely important to me. I can never get this straight in the viewer. Um, and that's happiness. I have really been doing a lot of thinking and I don't have a lot of personal happiness. Yeah, I get happy. Yeah, things make me happy, but it's, it's fleeting. It doesn't last. I mean, like, and I'm, I'm always happy. I'm happy for other people. Like, my daughters are going back to school to continue their educations and they're happy and I'm excited and happy for them. My oldest daughter has a Facebook store called Ink and Glitter Design and she does artwork and she also makes the most awesome bath fizzies ever and that's just part of the art she does and she is a fantastic artist and I'm gonna plug her Facebook thing but check out Ink and Glitter Design it's she has some really cool stuff uh, my youngest daughter has a family I'm excited for both of them they both got things in their life that are making them very 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 happy and you, any of you who are still subscribed and took the time to look, you've seen my last video. And I posted that simply because I'm tired of this stuff. This is why I don't get any crafting done. I can be going along 2018. A lot of goals for 2018. One of them is to get back and do YouTube regularly. And a bunch of other ones that would have made me happy, would have made my life better. And boom! I get hit with crap again by a stupid town I used to live in and I'm tired of it and my brother and I just to get them to leave us alone sold the property because it's been years of this stuff with them they're not gonna stop the town is dead they have no post office no school no fire department they've got a couple bars yay um, but that's it that's all and this town thinks it's some perfect little place and it's not and it needs to get that through its head but it's not going to and as long as we we still own two lots there and as long as we have property there they're probably never going to leave us alone so we sold the property and although my father wanted to pass down to his grandchildren it's not going to happen and I know we both my brother and I had serious reservations about doing it but to have a future that is happy for us we had to sever the ties as much as we could with that town. The other two lots I will not sell. Although my ex-husband did his best to try to get them. He's leasing them. He, uh, he was supposed to get my name off of four lots that we own together. He got them in the divorce. I gave them to him. And uh, I gave them to him for a stove and refrigerator, which were newer. So that says a lot about what they were worth anyway. And he sends me papers from a lawyer to sign to transfer those lots but he also included the two lots he lives on which were never part of the deal so you see I don't have to go look for trouble it finds me I didn't sign the papers I made him go get new ones I hope it cost him a lot um, anyway let's get on with this so I've been thinking about happiness and what makes me happy I don't know anymore I, th I think I'm happy and then I'm not happy. I mean, like, yeah, I don't know. So, the other day, I was watching videos on collage journals, and I've got a couple that I've started, and I do enjoy doing them. And I thought, you know what, I want to make another one, because one's really big and one's really small, and I kind of want one in the middle. So I started work on this. And... Uh, it's made out of file folders, and I got the idea from, I believe this is how you say her name, Diane Fago. She used to be known as Packer Dion here. Fantastic. Oh my gosh, this lady is great. Love her stuff. And she had a video, which I will at some time try to link to this one, um, on how to make, how she made one of her collage journals using file folders. And they're really sturdy. And so I started putting them together, and I realized I was getting just ecstatically happy at making this collage journal. I'm sorry, I keep moving this. And I am not a big lover of the color of yellow, okay? It's not my thing. However, I had a yellow file folder in there and something just kept telling me, use the bright yellow. And it's a lot brighter than it's showing up, at least on my screen I can see. 
So I used the bright yellow, and then I had bought at Dollar Tree some little file folders I was going to use in junk journals, but they were way too big and I couldn't figure out a good way to cut them down. So I thought, you know what? That bright blue would be so cool with that yellow. So I used it for the spine. And I went to get my paycheck today because we get paid on Friday, but it was nasty out Friday. So I decided to go wait till Monday to go get my paycheck. And we stopped at a little antique store and I found this book, this little children's book. They have some free books that you can take because they've tried to sell them and after they don't sell for so long, they put them in the free book thing. And I was looking through there and I found this book and it's just a real thin little book, little kid's book. It's called Little Mouse on the Prairie. And the little mouse was just so adorable, so I started leafing through the book. Are these not the cutest images of little mice? I've got it zoomed in, so you probably can't see the whole page, but oh my gosh. Illustrated by a lady named Robin James. And isn't it? Oh, they are just adorable. So I had to have those. And then I found a Girl Scout handbook that I thought might be good for journals and stuff. So I bought that too. But the other thing in this whole scheme of happiness is I am, I consider myself a paper crafter. I seem to do my best work with paper and paper seems to make me the happiest. I love doing all other types of crafts, I really do, but I have made the decision for my happiness, basically, to just devote my YouTube channel to paper. Before I had too many things going on, way too many different things, and I was getting confused as, what should I do this time, what should I do that time? And I, I wouldn't get anywhere because between that and the junk that's going on in my life, I, you know, it was just like crazy but paper makes me happy doing things in paper I at Christmas time I created Christmas cards whoops for every one of my co-workers and it made me happy I'm not I don't consider myself a card maker but you know what I did okay I really did and I think that kind of pushed me more in this direction but paper is my one love I have more paper than anything else and probably more than I'll ever use in the rest of my lifetime but paper is my thing. So the channel is going to be devoted mostly to paper now. Anything I can do with paper you're going to see on my channel. It's going to make me happy to come back to YouTube and I am going to try my hardest to get one video up a week. Maybe I'll be sharing a page in a collage journal or maybe I'll get a junk journal done or maybe I'll finally get one of the numerous mini albums I've started done. But it's going to be about paper so if you or subscribe to me or tuned in for anything else it's just gonna have to be paper and I'm sorry I uh, I don't know what else to say except I'm sorry I mean I if I do other projects here in my house I will share them but my channel is basically going to be just about paper anything and everything with paper so I hope you can understand but I need to do this for me because I need, life is too short. I need to find that happy, happy place. And this little journal, since it made me so happy creating it, and I found that little mouse that just was like, it was just, it's just awesome. And this is off the book cover. It made me so happy. And that's what this little collage journal is going to be about, is happy things. Everything in it is going to be happy. So we'll see where that goes. And I guess for the last thing you will notice that the channel name has changed. And that's because the CG, the channel that I lost, the CG for you, that was my old channel, that was my old crafting, that was my old life and my old me. Uh, the CG for you too was just simply because I didn't know what to call a new channel and I thought I knew where I was going with it and I didn't. So, I have chosen the name that I have chosen, which will be, is, the paper calliope. Why? One has nothing to do with the other, one is paper and one is a musical instrument. Well, number one, calliopes make me happy. I love calliope music. I do, but I like bagpipes too, so, you know. Um, but they make me very happy. I, I love that music. I associate it with merry-go-rounds and and carousels because that used to be the music on the old steam carousels 
was a calliope. And uh, just like crafting, you know, calliopes, some people like what you do, some people don't. Some people like calliopes, some people don't. And when you think about it, when we are doing our art and our crafts, we have a lot of successes, but we also have a lot of fails. And have you ever heard anything steam powered? When the steam is winding down, you get some pretty bad sounds out of a calliope when the steam just ain't up. And just like that, you get some, sometimes you get some pretty bad fails in the world of crafting, but that is what it's about. Success, failure, happiness, the enjoyment of doing it. So, I'm changing the name. I am changing what this channel is about. And I'm doing it all for the sake of happiness, and I can't think of a much better reason to do it. So, with that said, I will leave you because I don't want this video to get too long. And I look forward to seeing you under my new channel name, under my new crafting, which isn't really new, but it will be new to my channel because it's just going to be narrowed down to the paper. And as I've said before, I apologize if you know, you, you tuned in for other things. I just cannot keep doing so many different things because in the confusion of it all, I'm not getting anything done. So hopefully I'm going to shoot for once a week. I am going to be sharing all kinds of paper crafting with you. And as I said, if I do other projects, I will share them with you too, just, you know, just to show them. For all of you who are still subscribed to me through all of this, thank you a thousand times over. And anyone new to the channel, welcome. And with that, I'm going to leave you with a... Have a great day, everybody. Bye. Well, I'm back, and I'm going to be adding this onto the video. Um, I went to YouTube and tried to change my channel name, and as usual, they were being their usual disagreeable selves, and told me I couldn't change my channel name, just like when I lost my first channel, and they told me, you can't have your channel back. Um, so what it's going to be is a second channel, I guess, and it is going to be the one that I am going to mostly deal with. So with that said, I'm going to be creating a second channel. And it will just be about paper crafting. And I hope that you will join me there. Look for The Paper Calliope by Cheryl G. That's what it'll be titled. That's where I'll be. Bye.